What's going on guys, I'm Jay Toons, and today we're going to be taking a closer look at Absolute Force Online. This game is an MMO shooter, it is a free to play game, and it was developed by TQ Digital. This game has been available for open beta since December 19th, 2012, so it's been out for a couple of weeks. Let's go ahead and uh, log in here and see what happens when you first log in on your new account. So, let me just log in here. Now, once you do log in, what's most important of this character cre uh, selection screen, it doesn't matter what side you choose, you know, Fallen Angel as you can see at the top here, or Justice Hands. What matters on this screen is either male or female, the gender is what matters, because once you choose that character and create that character, you are stuck with that character. There's no way to change gender or um, hairstyle or stuff like that. As of right now on that account, you will you won't be even be able to delete that character on that account. So make sure you're happy with gender and customization before you actually make the character. Otherwise, you're pretty much screwed, and you'll have to make a new account just to be able to do this all over again. So I already have a male character. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and go with female. So first thing we'll see here when we come in is some customization that you have for your character. Um, we have the hairstyles which they don't have a lot of hairstyles and I don't want to click through every single one of them because um, I do want to get through the different modes and other accessories that you can add to your character in game so let's just go ahead and choose we'll take a look at some of them quickly um, and you can see they only have two pages of hairstyles I think I'm just going to stick with that they do have quite a bit of uh, hair colors you can choose from though which is pretty good I think I'm just going to stick with that the next little bit here we can change is the faces. Now they don't have many faces as you can see here, only three different styles that you can choose from. And it looks like they'll be adding some more in later on. Once you do choose the face that you want, you can uh, change the complexion if you choose to, or keep it as it is right down there. The next thing that you can cha change is face tattoos and body tattoos. So this is the face tattoos, and like I said, make sure that you're happy with your character before making your character um, because there is no way to change this in game yet I don't know if they're going to be able to later on but as of right now there's no way to do that so make sure you're happy with your character if this matters to you I mean some people it matters sometimes some people it doesn't but just go ahead and take a look at that um, and make sure you're happy with the character now I don't want no face tattoos on this character but those are the different ones now it has body tattoos too and they have you know you can either choose a top or bottom a half or both with uh, the body tattoos or choose none if you decide to but um you can mix and match if you want to or they have ones that match um they don't have really that many to choose from they're going to add more it seems like i'm sure they'll have a lot more options when the game is close to its run through open beta but right now these are the only options that you have to choose from I'm gonna go ahead and stick with that alright guys so we've taken care of the character creation screen and taken care of that now what we're looking at is what we we'll usually see when we log in it's this main window or the rooms where you can choose the different game modes or the different games you want to jump into now here in the center is basically the different games as you can see here the different modes you know they have a, a whole bunch of different ones team deathmatch vehicle bomb you can just go through here and choose but it'll also show like somebody's hosting it there will show the whatever he named it usually it's just a character name um, right there and then it'll show how many people are in it if they're actually playing and then the rules to that game that that person has set up so you can go through here and check what game that you want to join up with or you want to join now if you don't see anything you like here and you want to make your own you can host by clicking here but we'll do that in just a second I want to take a look at the other panels first before we do that. Now, up here at the top left is your profile. Um, here you'll find out you know, basic information about your character. Character level, character name, how much experience you need before the next level, and then the currency. Now you got GP, which you'll get like 30,000 when you first make your character. I wasted a bit, but you'll get 30,000. Then you have silver AF points and gold AF points. Now silver AF points are gained by doing daily challenges or actually leveling. When you level they'll give you some type of reward um, either silver AF points or gold uh, points um, but you'll get those that way. Those are the only ways you can get them as of right now. Now the gold AF points you get in the credit tab uh, you use real life money to buy those and you can use all these um, 
or all the different types of currencies in the shop we'll talk about that a little bit later now this other little panel here is um, it's just a panel to show people that are sitting here either AFK waiting to get into a game or making a game or they're just talking which you can use here you can talk to people um, that are just waiting around but now that we've gone through all those panels let's take a look at the actual hosting options okay so here you click on host if you want to host one you can choose either if you want to allow or if you yeah you do not want to allow a third person uh, you only want to allow uh, first person you would click on that and then the different modes are right here um, team deathmatch is the one that has the most maps you can choose from um, the rest of them have you know a couple of maps too but team deathmatch has the most and you just go through here and fill out the different options that they have um, and the different rules for the game right here and then you would say okay and then you could send out invitations to the people that are free over here on this panel or you just wait until you get enough people and you just start it up so you host the game so the next little tab up here at the top is the squad tab when you get to level 10 I was about to say 11 when you get to 10 uh, you can make a squad um, you pay 10,000 GP and you can make a squad there's no one really making any squads because otherwise they would have them listed here but if uh, you decide at level 10 you wanted to make a clan or a squad you can do that in this tab now the next tab we're going to look at is the one that I use the most basically I think everybody does really um, when I first log in I come and check out the dailies now here you'll get extra XP and that silver AF uh, points for completing these dailies it seems like there's gonna have other stuff coming soon but for right now that's all they have in this tab but you complete these dailies you get the XP and the silver AF points and if you do them all uh, and you want to do some more dailies to get you know faster XP or more AF points you can refresh it by either well the only way you can do it is refresh it um, pay a thousand GP points to get it or you can just wait till the next day or the time when it resets uh, yeah but what I usually do is I come here uh, find out you know when I first log in I come here and find out what the daily is and then I'll come back here and try to find a room for that daily or if I can't find a room I'll sometimes host a room just depends just get these done um, XP and that AF points now the last two tabs here is the arsenal tab and the shop tab now these tabs are probably going to be talked to or talked about together just to try to explain it a bit you know how earlier I said that it didn't matter if you chose either the justice hand or the fallen angel well this is the only time it does um, here you have the different weapons and stuff you can set up you see down here I'm clicking on two different like settings you only get two um, you can pay 6,000 points here and you get a third one and then you pay AF points and you can keep activating them until you get them all um, but the weapons stay the same but the outfits don't when you choose sides so you see here I have it set up for this is like the main weapons that you'll get when you first start I paid for this for 3,000 it's permanent weapon but it was cheap so I you know I got it and I have that set for my number two just to show you guys the difference you see so you can set that up but now the weapons stay the same the only thing that doesn't is the outfits now to show you that I'm gonna have to go to the shop over here let's go to equipment okay and alright so say I was going through here and I like the way I don't know the character looked like this alright once oh I shouldn't have done that okay so I like the way the character looks here once I if I pay for this and I set her up this way when I go to the fallen the outfits change so it, she won't look the same when you're the opposite fashion so this is the only time it matters you know when you do get into a game you get to choose what side you want to play as um, if you set her up with outfits for uh, the fallen or the justice hand that's the only time it matters the guns stay the same no matter which side you choose just the outfits change and as it, as you can see here you can see the different stuff it is level required for some stuff um, and some of it is permanent and some of it is uh, a couple of days until it resets or and you have to refresh it or whatnot but that's basically it with the shop and the arsenal now the last little tab here we have is the credit tab and once you click on that it takes you over to TQ's website where you can use real life money to buy gold AF points 
so you can buy things in game now as you can see here it's 90 cents for 80 uh, AFG points and uh, 29.99 for 26.50 that's basically it I'll have another video coming soon with some gameplay I want to thank you all again for watching if you enjoyed the content please comment like and subscribe you can follow me on Twitter and if you missed my last video you can find it over here I'm Jay Toons I'll see you all next time deuces